All right, one of the things that I've said over and over and over again in this tutorial is that you should always cross-check your numbers, okay? You should always have at least two ways of coming to a result that'll let you know that you did your calculation right. If you go by the first way and you get a result of 100, and then by the second way and you get a result of 100, you're going to know that your calculation is right. Or if you get, you know, 100 and... 105 in case you're doing an approximate calculation you're going to know you're in the range that you were expecting but if by one method you get 100 and by another method you get 850 well there's something wrong with your calculation so you should always cross check your numbers and i'm going to show you a cross check that's real easy to do for when you have tables like this one and that can save you a whole lot of mistakes and errors in your excel spreadsheets and it's as simple as this. See right here, I have several region codes and I have several stores. And what I'm going to do is obtain totals. I need totals by store and totals by region. So, total by region. And right here, I'm going to say total by store. And I'm going to do nothing really interesting. I'm just going to add a little sum here. Just use the auto sum function and sum all of these values like that. And then just do the auto sum function here and sum all of these values. Now, notice something that happened here. When I do auto sum, Excel grabs the region code column here. Excel sometimes does that when you sum automatically. It simply understands that you want to sum all of these numbers, and it turns out this was a region code and wasn't really part of the sales figures. And if you're in a rush, you just come in and do that, and you get your total, and you drag it down like that. And you send off that report, and it turns out that the sales figures are off by a hundred and something dollars, and it turns out that this is the error that you have in your sales figures. Now, how do you keep this from happening? How do you keep from sending out a report that has incorrect results like this one? There's a really easy cross check that you can do, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. What you need to do is simply obtain the total by region and the total by store. Now, since each store did exactly the same figure, it doesn't matter if you add them together horizontally or vertically. In the end, the sum of all the money that all the stores generated is going to be the same by region and by store. It's going to be a grand total. So what you need to do is check this grand total against this grand total. Notice that always when you're doing a sum in a table like this one, you get a cell here on the lower right corner that's not really used. You can use it by for totals, but I like to use it like this. You see, you auto sum this one, and then what I'm going to do is subtract another sum. And the sum that I'm going to subtract is exactly the horizontal one. Since they both need to be identical, if I get a result different from zero, I know something's wrong. And I get a result of 1720. That means that I've got an error in my calculation somewhere. Now, another thing you can do is say grand total. By stores, grand total by regions. For example, if you didn't want to do the cross check here and you just wanted the total right there, you can do grand total by stores and grand total by regions like that and difference this one minus this one and I get a difference of 1720 so that's how I know something is wrong here in my formulas because simply in a table like this the horizontal sum has to be the same as the vertical sum if you add everything together now how do I find out where my error is well, you can start by selecting all the cells which contain the sales figures you want to add together, like that. And if you look down here on the lower right corner of your screen, you're going to get a sum. 
What Excel does is it adds together all these selected cells. And it says 1266 220. And since this one is 1267 940, that means that this sum is incorrect. In other words, there's something wrong with these numbers. Now, what's wrong with the numbers? Well, if I step into the cell, I can see immediately that the problem is this region code. It's getting added to the total. So what I do is move the range so it's only C6 to L6. And then I'm going to do this, copy that formula. And now I get 1266, 220, which is the same that I have here. So this one cross checks with the total of these cells. And it also cross checks against this total by store. If we look down here, the grand total by stores is identical to the grand total by regions, and that's the difference. And if you want one more cross check down here, you can say total sum, and we can simply sum this entire range like we did before. So now you have three different checks, which all say 1266220, and you know your formulas for this table are correct. So always cross-check your data in Excel before you send anything out. And this is one way that you can cross-check your data in Excel if you're doing a table like this one by stores and by regions. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and to visit our website, cubicleoverlords.com, for more instructional videos like this one.